How's it going, everybody? This is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, and I'm back again with a new episode of Tiny Home Tuesday, where every Tuesday I showcase a particular park model tiny home coming in at 399 square feet that we have available right here at Recreational Resort Cottages. And this Tuesday, I'm bringing to you the Lakeview OG. We are now on the interior of the Lakeview OG. And starting here, hey, you know how we do it here at Recreational Resort Cottages. We are offering features in tiny homes that you're gonna get nowhere else with the quality that is bar none. So as you see right here behind me, in the living area, you're going to have a real rock fireplace. This is a LED fireplace that can put off heat as well and it will heat you out of here I can tell you that we have a cedar top right here up above that real rock fireplace it's already prepped ready to go for a TV right here at your convenience you can get the interior view right here of the blinds and glass front door and that beautiful prismatic dormer up above the front door so that looks great from the inside or the outside now like I told you earlier this is the Lakeview OG. If you've seen the Lakeview Reimagined, then you're gonna realize that this door was not here. This was all wall and we had a porch off the front of the home. That is options that you have. So in this particular model, we chose to remove the porch and we chose to add the side door. This way you can gain all of the view right here off the end of the home. So you can see we have a bump out right here that has two standard windows with two transoms up above, as well as these slim vertical windows on each side. So if you have a great view of your property, lake, pond, I don't even care. If you like your next door neighbor enough, you can put this right there, and that way you can see them and holler at them every day. So you've got enough space to do that. But also notice the vaulted ceilings that we have going front to back with the ceiling fan, with the white blades and nickel finish right there as well. And I love how you go from one side of the living room over to the next and you have enough flow to incorporate a full size couch, shall you choose to. You can do couch, love seat, you can do a couple of recliners, whatever you like. And then we have the natural light here leading into the area that actually has a small bump out right here on a bay window that has triple windows for you to enjoy. So that is great and it makes also a great dining area. So if you wanted to place a bistro drop leaf table here or incorporate the island like we've done here in this model, you can see that this model is on legs. We didn't include it on wheels, so that is an option. You can go wheels or legs, and then also we have an outlet in the floor underneath. So you can actually hook this island up and you can run your blenders, everything that you need from the top of your island. So this gives you plenty of space and that little bump out right there goes a long way when it comes to 399 square feet. Also up above, you'll see that we have the pendant lights right there prepped, ready to go for you. So that gives you space that you can incorporate those lights shall you choose to, or you can omit them, that's your option. And then right over here, this makes great for storage. We have the built-in hutch. So you have the triple cabinets down below paired with the triple drawers. And then this is a feature up above that we chose to add in the original, the Lakeview OG, which is three more cabinets. In the Lakeview Reimagined, we removed these cabinets and put shelves right here, open shelves for you so you can store or have decor. So those are items that you get to choose here at Recreational Resort Cottages. What I love is that we have the fired steel countertop going throughout the home, as well as the rust block medley mosaic backsplash. That complements these gray stained cabinets so well. But what I love about this is the flow from the hutch over to the galley style kitchen. So as we make our way over, you can see that we have, again, the fired steel countertop, which offers that kind of rustic feel going throughout, and it blends and goes with everything, especially these gray stained cabinets. So we're gonna have those down below. We chose to go with the two basin stainless sink. We didn't do a farm sink in this one. We're keeping it back to the basics. This is the Lakeview OG. 
So we got the window up above. We finished out the soffit in the tape and texture. So that way we can throw in a can light. Things like that, guys, goes a long way. So you see we've got that in there. And what I love is that with the galley style kitchen, you have all your appliances here in black, just over there to the side, out of the way. But what I love also is the Lakeview floor plan. If you see right here, the stairs are in the center of the home and the split loft opens up on each side to have separation in the loft as well as your stairs pushed to the back because in most models we have the stairs tucked over to the side of the home. What that does is make you lose some space right here in your living or dining area. Since they're pushed to the back, you get that open concept from front to back of the home. So that makes this 399 square feet feel so much larger to the eye. So in the lake view, there's a reason we put the view in there for you. So as you come on back, you'll see that we have the smooth top oven here, microwave, standard fridge here as well. And then we come on back and you'll see that we have the space for the stackable washing machine and dryer. This would be the 24 inch units that you could have in there for you. You can do top load, front load, the options are endless. Also, we have the space right here under the stairs utilized for a 30 gallon electric water heater. This is something we upgraded to with the 30 gallon. You can go with the standard 20 gallon, shall you choose to, or go with tankless. Those are all your options if you want that propane. We got that for you as well. So you close that back and we'll take it up back into the bedroom and right here on the main floor, you can see that we have the space to accommodate up to a queen size bed. So you've got enough space to do that. You still have enough space with outlets on each side. If you wanted to add in some small nightstands, you could do that. We've got a gray stain cabinet here, which is what hiding the electrical panel box, which this home has a 100 amp electric service that would need to be hardwired into the electric pole. If you're going into an RV park, we can go 50 amp with a pigtail. Mr. Tiny's got all the options for you. So we got that taken care of. Also, big window right here off the rear, bringing in that natural light for you. And then over here to the side, we chose to go with the built-ins in this model. A lot of times you see that we have the standard closet, closet, dresser in the center. What we chose to do here is go with the drawers down low. We have three drawers on each side, two in the middle to keep it even for you. And then we have the shirt cabinets. We have the shirt cabinets on each side so that way you can hang your nice shirts up, your suit jackets, shall I add that? You can do that. And then right here in the center, we kept that fired steel countertop going with enough space to put a uh, small TV. You can put a laptop, computer if you need to Get your little work on, you can do that. And also, we have these small cabinets up top. So this is great when we choose to go with the built-ins, that means you do not have to bring in any more of your furniture. We've already got it in here for you. You're downsizing, so you need to bring as less items as possible. So Mr. Tiny's already taking care of that for you. Now, as you follow me back through, before we go through this, you'll see that, oh, we got to color coordinate with the gray stained southern yellow pine door. And you'll see that going here, of course, complementing the rails. But let's take it into one of the main features everyone loves about the Lakeview OG is right here, the tub shower combo. So in a 399 square foot tiny home, you have the space to have a rubber dub in the tub. We have the elevated area here, so that way if you're on the taller side, you can have enough room to stand in there and take a shower with ease, but you also have the space for the kiddies, for the adults to take a bubble bath, and it's closed off by a sliding glass door. This again is an option. You can choose to have the sliding glass door or you can choose to omit it. That's totally your option there. Now, as you follow me back, this is what everybody's been waiting on, the loft. So you can see here with the stairs centralized here in the gray stain, we chose to go with that. And then we got the open risers. Again, guys, you have options that you can do open riser wood stairs like we have here. You can do carpeted stairs. You can do drawers in the stairs. You've seen it all if you're subscribed, like you should be. But this one is the open risers with the gray stain. Now follow me up so I can show you where the rest of the guests are going to enjoy the Lakeview OG. Now we are in the loft of the Lakeview OG. And this is what makes the Lakeview OG stand out from the rest. 
I don't care if you are getting this for a primary residence, a secondary residence, if you're an investor looking for great rental income, this is the one for you. I've seen it for everybody. I've sold it to people for their lake home, their deer leases, their Airbnbs, VRBOs, the list goes on. This is a great place and a great floor plan to call yours because right here in the loft, you have the area which is split. So you have one single side here, we have all the windows bringing in the natural light, and then we have directly across the opposite side is the same split loft section. So what makes this so great, like I told you earlier, is that this home can literally sleep up to 12 people. With that said, let's go through the characteristics of it and where this could be possible. Sleeper sofa in the living room, there's two. We've got the bedroom downstairs. There's two more right here on each side of the loft. You can add two more adults. We have the area right back here where you can have two more air mattresses and that is going to take it up to 12. So you can do that, have any configuration. Again, guys, I tell you, I've sold this to every one of the options that I said earlier. So I've literally seen people utilize these on Airbnbs as sleeping up to 12. It can happen. You want to do 10, you want to do eight, all that is your preference, but it is possible in the Lakeview OG. So with that said, with these clear story windows we have here, we've got TVs, jacks on each side, so you can place your TV placement wherever you like. So that is a great feature to have as well. You can see with the loft rails, we have the gray stained top and the black metal rails in this particular model. And then let's pan down to the rest of the house. So you can see why 399 square feet is oh so sweet when you come to recreational resort cottages in the Lakeview OG. You can see that this is packed with character in the Lakeview OG and this is something you don't want to pass up. Again, like I was telling you, this particular home is 11 feet wide. It's 34 feet in length and this model's on sale today for 98K. 98,000 to the first person that hits me up and I'll send it your way. So again, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in to another Tiny Home Tuesday. Please, if you haven't already, hit that like button. Hit the thumbs up and that notification bell. That way you're notified every week when I post a new video. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite characteristic of the Lakeview OG was. Let me know if you like this just as much as the Lakeview Reimagined. Let me know if you preferred when we did the Reimagined feature on this floor plan. Either way, you let us know so that way we'll know what to keep bringing you each and every week. Also, subscribe. If you're subscribed like you should be, then you ain't got nothing to worry about. You're seeing me every week. If you're not, you better hurry up before you get left. I'm telling you, we got the family here at Recreational Resort Cottages, and when you hit that subscribe button, you are now part of the family. Also, if you want to contact me directly, you can run over to Instagram, at the Mr. Tiny at T-H-E-M-R-T-I-N-Y. And you can connect with I anytime. I'm selling the Lakeview OG as well as hundreds of other models directly off of my Instagram. You can contact me day or night and I'll make sure that price is right. So again, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in to another Tiny Home Tuesday with me, Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, and I'll see you next Tiny Home Tuesday.